I want to make rights repair an environmental concern because environmental concern because the environment is a culture war and I want to avoid culture wars and I want to deal with people's own specific self-interests. If you mention the environment as a reason that you should have an electric car versus a gas car, yeah, you're already pissed at me, aren't you? I can feel you getting mad at me. I can feel you about, I could feel that a good portion of my audience is already pissed at me. However, if I say you should care about right to repair because don't, why should you not be able to fix your own stuff? If I tell you that you need to get an electric car because it's better for the environment than having an ICE vehicle, you already think that I'm on some shit where I'm saying I'm better than you. And half of my, I already alienated half my audience. And it's sad that that's the case, but it is. Now, if I say with right to repair, what if I could get more jobs in your district? What if I could get you from working at Walmart making 20000 a year to having your own little repair business making $65,000 in the first year? What if that item, what if that item that you, you were just told would cost 2000 to repair could be fixed for 75 bucks, Or you could fix it yourself. Let me show you how to fix it yourself so that you could save uh, $1,900. That's how you get people on your side. I try to avoid any of the shit that's a cultural war issue. I don't want to step anywhere near culture wars because once you get in your culture wars or any of the left versus right bull crap, you have a lot of people that just want to do the exact opposite just to own the cons or own the libs. And I try to stay as far away from that shit as possible. I focus on people's self-interest. I f and the way that I get through to people is through self-interest. I show you how to do your own repairs. I One of the things I do with repair videos, I don't just talk about why right to repair is a good concept. I don't talk about it as an activist. I talk about it from a, here's 600 videos demonstrating how you could save money and also how if you have a repair business, you could add tens of thousands of dollars each year to your to your bottom line. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how you could save a lot of money. I'm going to show you how you could feel good making something work again. That's I approach it from that. I don't approach it from the, you need to do this because of the environment. You need to do this because of that. Is it good for the environment? Absolutely. Do I think we should be nicer to the, war, to the earth? Yes, I do. Am I going to start, am I going to open by lecturing you? No, I'm not. I'm not here to be Greta Thunberg because I see how that works. I see how that works. I'm not here to be the Greta Thunberg of right to repair. I'm here to be the Lewis Rossman of right to repair. Because in my opinion, my approach gets a wider coalition. It gets more people involved. It gets more people motivated, more people excited, and more people to give a shit. But above all, one thing you'll notice about right to repair, above anything else, if you look over the past seven years, this audience has left-wing people, it has social Democrats, it has, uh, it has uh, right-wing people, it has Trump supporters, it has Biden supporters. We have a very wide coalition here. But one thing you may notice about right to repair, this ain't a right-wing issue, it ain't a left-wing issue, and you don't have people purposely trying to do the opposite of what the other side is doing like you do with virtually every issue that is made, that, that, that exists right now. And I'm proud of that. I'm happy with that. I don't want right to repair to turn into some cultural war shit. I'm not here to be the greatest Thunberg of right to repair. I don't want to polarize people, which is odd because I have a very off-putting personality. But it's really weird to hear me say that because I do have a very off-putting personality. But I'm not here to try to politically polarize people.